This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.9. Activity feed posts display remote plug-in quick links inline as embedded attachments and no longer require navigation to view. Instructors and learners can now paste embed codes directly into message posts. When creating a new message post, enter your message and copy your embed code into create a message. Clean up your message by removing the HTML. The embed code automatically attaches and displays inline. Users can now attach web links to message and assignment posts. Copy the web link into Create a Message. Clean up your message by removing the web link. Then, click Post. If applicable, a thumbnail and description of the web link display inline. Instructors grading assignment submissions from grades will now see their evaluation in assignments. Note, existing grade data for assignment submissions are not migrated. The synchronization only occurs for new grade entries. This feature implements PI items D3610 and D0391. Improvements have been made to assignments. You can now set the desired default behavior of on-off for annotations with the new D2L, Tools, Assignments, Annotations Default configuration variable. This new configuration variable manages the default state of the Make Annotation Tools Available for Assessment checkbox if annotations are enabled for that course. This release introduces user-tied tool preferences. When instructors select the tools, such as annotations, to use in an assignment submission, Brightspace remembers those preferences and will carry them through subsequent assignment creations. When navigating back or closing a browser, a new Failure to Save notification warning appears prompting instructors to save their changes or actively choose to proceed without saving. This feature implements PI items D5321, D5611, D5450, D5367, and D5229. Several updates have been made to the Assessment Quality Dashboard. The dashboard now includes quizzes with question pools, a new column in the Question Statistics table that indicates if the question is part of a question pool, and the Quiz Survey section's Brightspace dataset now has a version column to support question pools information in the Assessment Quality Dashboard. Note, question pool data will take two weeks to migrate following this update. To help keep learners up to date on course activity, Brightspace Pulse now displays activity feed notifications in the Updates tab. You can now control the visibility of the available class and user progress indicators. The Modify Org Default Progress Indicators permission must be set at the org level. From Class Progress and User Progress settings, click the context menu of the indicator you want to hide from users and select Hide from Users. A Hidden from Users icon displays next to indicators you have hidden from users. Note, these are global changes and cannot be customized on a course-by-course -course basis. Click User Progress. Here, you can hide progress indicators from users in the User Progress report. Click the context menu of an indicator you want to hide and select Hide from Users. 
Brightspace Datasets version has been updated to 4.0. Included in this update are major changes that remove and rename columns in existing Brightspace datasets. View the release notes to see a full list of columns that have been replaced by new or recently released datasets. There are two new Brightspace datasets. Question Library details all the questions that have been created in your organization. And Question Relationships details the quizzes, sections, and question pools that have questions added in your organization. Note, the Quiz Questions Brightspace dataset will be deprecated in the March 2020 release. This feature implements PI item D5291. Instructors grading discussion posts from grades will now see their evaluation in discussions. Note, existing grade data for discussions are not migrated. This synchronization only occurs for new grade entries. This feature implements PI items D3610 and D0391. Course Admin now features a link to import outcomes into your course. Learning outcomes can still be imported using the new Content Experience Lessons, and outcomes imported in one location will display in the other. Note. Learning outcomes may display as competencies or standards depending on your organization's settings. From Course Administration, click Standards Here, you can view existing standards that have been aligned to your course or import new ones. The Standards Import Workflow mirrors the existing import workflow in the new Content Experience Lessons. The Manager Dashboard interface now displays Teams and People labels in the People table that differentiate between the Teams and individual direct reports of managers. Use Activities in Quick Eval to display a dashboard of pending evaluations organized by activity. This feature implements PI item D5475. In Quick Eval, Easily complete all assessments for one activity using the new activity view. Activities display when there is an unevaluated submission or no submissions in the activity. Activities display indicators to identify new submissions and show the progress of learner submissions, completed evaluations, and published feedback. Hover your mouse over the indicators. To evaluate all submissions, review the submission list, or publish all feedback. The D2L, Tools, Quizzes, Rounding Logic Update, Configuration Variable is now on by default for all users. Arithmetic and Significant Figures questions now round up from 0.5. This feature implements PI item D1751. A new completed content topic release condition has been introduced. The method of completion for completed content topic depends on the type, such as viewing a file or submitting an assignment. Optional content topics can trigger this release condition, and this condition ignores exemptions, meaning the condition can be met regardless of the activity being required, option or exempt. The visual table of contents will now display the optimal number of modules in the widget and has introduced paging. Want to learn more about the activity view in QuickEval? Check out our new video and don't forget to subscribe.